Now we want to try some multipoint test data that should give us uh, more accurate results. So what we're going to do here, uh, we'll go back to where we were before with 50 and I think it was 1500 CFM. I don't know how those other numbers got in there, but you can take them out and put any numbers in you like. Um, we're going to take a building pressure at 40 Let's say the flow is 1250, and 30, 20, 10. I'm just hitting the tab key in order to get from one to the next. And then at 30, it's 1,000, 20 is 800, and 10 is 600. So we would merely adjust the speed of our door fan in order to uh, get these different test pressures. You'll notice that now we have some pretty large errors over here, 14%, uh, 36%, uh, and so on. Those errors can be reduced by taking more accurate data, or in this case, just taking more data. So even if we were to add in a point here at 15 pascals, which would probably be around 700, CFM, you'll notice that these errors drop down quite significantly. If we were to put another value in here at 25 and 900 CFM, they should drop down a little bit more. And then a value at 45 and uh, 1375, let's say, should drop down a little bit more. So essentially, the more data we put in here, the better and uh, the more uh, accurate we can say our results are. Or, in this case, these are actually the confidence limits according to ASTM. So we can say with confidence that the results, that this particular result is within plus minus 7.6 percent 19 times out of 20. I'm sure you've heard that before. So we have confidence limit calculations on every result here that shows us the degree of confidence that we have in our results.